Yo! Happy Valentine's Day. Ooh. So whether you're celebrating with a lover or by yourself, you deserve to feel loved and cherished and all the things that make you feel like a flower. Anyway, I have no plans today. Don't know what I'm gonna do. And I'm too broke to go out. You're gonna spend Valentine's Day with me at home and see how it goes. Okay. To those who don't watch Euphoria, okay, it's fine. I don't highly suggest it for everybody. But those who do, there's a slight spoiler. A few things to take from that episode. Cassie is stupid, for one thing. Nathaniel is a psycho. The only two good scenes, the parts with Ali, with Rue's family, and Lexi and Fez. What Nate did to Maddie. She did not deserve that. Also seeing the teaser for next week, it's gonna be Lexi's play. And of course Fez is gonna show up. <laughs> Fifth girl's gonna show up for the play. But I'm scared now because what's her name? Faye? Oh. If anything happens to Fesco and Ashtray, I will be so hurt. Bruh. Anyway, I had to watch it before I took a shower because, like, after that walk, I felt like I, my mom showered for So I'm like, hey, I'll wait. And during the wait, I watched Euphoria. Because I knew I wouldn't be able to go on TikTok until I watched Euphoria because there'll be so much spoilers. Let me find something to wear. I may not be doing anything special today, but let me at least try to, you know, feel the vibes of Valentine's Day. Hey. So I'm just keeping it simple. Denim shorts and this top. But it's Valentine-y. It's cute. We'll see how it goes. But who? Nothing much happened, you know. Like it's a Monday. I don't do much. I'm at home majority of the time, like either reading a book or whatever. But today it was just more of like, like refreshing yourselves for the week kind of day, you know. I edited some photos, watched a couple YouTube videos, chatted with a friend over the phone. Yeah, really, like it was really just a chill day. Like there wasn't a lot of expectation really. For valentine's day but overall i feel like it's still a good day gonna watch a movie later with my mom like a nice little rom-com you know just the end of the day all cute and whatever why not with children around fine oh well, you're gonna keep quiet so to anyone who's spending valentine's day single it's not a bad thing please know that i used to be that person where I thought something was wrong with me and just automatically put myself down because I thought that being single on Valentine's Day specifically was a bad thing because society said so. I'm at the point in my life where I'm not angry at Valentine's Day. I'm not sad on Valentine's Day. I just, it's another day. But then I also think of it as an excuse just to, you know, pamper myself, like show love to myself, you know, whether it be like, doing a self-care day, go out to eat alone, read a book, like do things that I enjoy, and even spending time with your friends. Pre-pandemic, me and my single friends, we'd go out and like do something fun. So one year we went go-karting, another year we went to go watch what? Like a movie drive-in, that was so fun. So like just to like bring other single people together, like you're not spending Valentine's Day alone, let's do it together kind of thing, you know? And it's a fun time. So... There's no hate towards the holiday. It's a fun time. I used to be that person. And it used to suck hardcore. But it doesn't anymore. Growth is what's happening right now. <laughs> yes. At most times, I'd rather be alone. Because knowing that I'm satisfied in my own company. I know what to do. I know how I feel. And I feel more content being alone. And I've actually gotten to enjoy my own company which is great some people still stay in a relationship because of the one day on valentine's day and that time in their relationship they are miserable like they want to get out of it but 
they're like, I will never find another person. I will be dying alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, no, in my opinion, I feel like it's blocking you from actually getting what is yours. I'm trying to be deep. But I am a really big believer that whatever is meant for you will come for you. And that relationship, that one that's not working out, if it's not working out, let it go, hey. If you still have the desire to be in a relationship, you can still try again. It's not a bad thing in starting over again. So yeah, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Go eat your chocolates. All the cute things feel like a flower and all that. Yes. Yeah.